Hi everyone, so this video is going to go through the quiz review. Remember this was a um, Microsoft form that you took today in class to help review for the quiz tomorrow. So I'm gonna go through the questions um, for you just in case you got any of those incorrect. So the first question asked us to add these two numbers. Remember when you are adding or subtracting decimals, you have to, have to, have to line up the decimal. So if I have 43.7, remember go ahead and put your decimal for your second number first, then um, write the numbers. So the 16 is going to go under the four and the three. The three goes under the seven, and then an eight goes off to the right. When you have an empty space, you should fill it with a placeholder of a zero. And now I'm ready to add. So zero plus eight is eight. Seven plus three is 10. Put your zero, carry your one. One plus three is four. Four plus six is 10. So put your zero, carry a one. One plus four is five. Five plus one is six. When you're adding or subtracting decimals, you wanna drop your decimal straight down into your answer, which should have been 60.08. In your uh, Microsoft form, that would have been answer choice A. The second question is also addition. So um, put your first number on top, so 29 decimal 42 and I'm adding a whole number 41. So remember in a whole number, your decimal is after the ones place. So in this case, your decimal is after the one. Okay, so make sure when you line these up, you put your decimal after your ones place and that way your decimals can be lined up perfectly. And then there's two placeholders we need before we can add. And now we're ready. So two plus zero is two. Four plus zero is four. Nine plus one is 10. So put your zero, carry a one. One plus two is three. Three plus four is seven. Don't forget, final step, drop your decimal straight down. So your final answer should have been 70.42 which would have been answer option C on your Microsoft form. Third one is still adding decimals, but it can get a little tricky when we add three numbers. So go ahead and put your first number on top, put your decimal for your second number, put your decimal for your third number. In your second number, the 42 is gonna go under your 74. Then we have a zero and an eight off to the right. In our third number, 45 is going to go under 42. The nine will go under the zero. Then we have a couple places we need placeholders after that five and after that nine. And now we're ready to add. So zero plus eight plus zero is eight. Five plus zero plus nine is 14. So drop your four, carry a one. One plus four is five. Five plus two is seven. 7 plus 5 is 12, so put your 2, carry a 1. 1 plus 7 is 8, 8 plus 4 is 12, 12 plus 4 is 16, drop your 16 straight down. And then final step, decimal should be perfectly lined up. So our final answer should be 162.48, which would have been answer option D on your form. All right, next one talks about uh, subtraction. So same rules apply as they do for adding decimals. We have to line them up. So 73.01 was my first number. It goes on top. Put your decimal of your second number. So it's lined up perfectly. And then the 39 will go under the 73 with our five under the zero. We do need a placeholder next to that five. So now we can subtract. When you're subtracting, please make sure you start all the way on the right hand side. So we need to start with one minus zero, which is one. 
Next one says zero minus five. I can't do that, so I need to borrow from my three, make that a two, and my zero becomes a 10. Now 10 minus five, I can do to get five. Next would be two minus nine. I can't do that, so I need to borrow from my seven, make that a six, and two becomes 12. 12 minus nine is three, six minus three is three. Final step, drop your decimal straight down. So your final answer should be 33.51, which on your form should have been letter B. Next one is subtraction again. First number goes on top, which is 73. 73 is a whole number, which means my decimal is after my ones or after that three. Then I'll put my decimal of my second number so that they're lined up perfectly. And then the 18 goes under the 73 with a three off to the right. We do need a placeholder above that three. And now we can subtract. Start on the right hand side, zero minus three. I can't do it, I need to borrow. So that becomes a two and that becomes 10. 10 minus three is seven. Two minus eight, I can't do it. I need to borrow from my seven, make it a six. So that can become a 12. 12 minus eight is four. Six minus one is five. Final step is to drop your decimal straight down so your final answer should be 54.7, which would have been answer option A on your form. Last subtraction was 277, goes on top, with your decimal after that final seven, minus 63.17. So put your decimal of your second number, 63 goes under your 77, and 17 goes off to the right. You do need a couple placeholders above your 17 and below your two. And now we're ready to subtract. Start on the right hand side, zero minus seven, can't do it, so we gotta borrow. But there's nothing to borrow from with that zero, so we gotta go all the way over to the seven to make that a six. So we get a 10, and now we have something to borrow from. So. Cross off that 10, make it a nine, and make our final zero a 10. Now we can subtract 10 minus seven is three, nine minus one is eight, six minus three is three, seven minus six is one, two minus zero is two. Final step, drop our decimal straight down to get a final answer of 213.83 which was C on your Microsoft form. Next section was uh, multiplying. So we have 3.2 times 5.8. They both have two digits, so I can just put my first number on top. Now remember with multiplying decimals, you do not line them up. In this case, they just happen to line up perfectly. So you're gonna count how many decimals, or how many numbers are after your decimal in each of your numbers. So in the first one, there's one number after my decimal point, and in my second, there's also one number, which means one plus one in my final answer, I will move my decimal point two places. So now we can multiply. Eight times two is 16, put a six, carry a one. 8 times 3 is 24, plus 1 is 25. Now we tick tack toe tick the 1, tack the 8, toe the 0. 5 times 2 is 10, put our 0, carry a 1. 5 times 3 is 15, plus 1, we get 16. Add your products. We do need a placeholder above that 1 before we add. And now we're good. Six plus zero is six. Five plus zero is five. Two plus six is eight. Zero plus one is one. We said we needed to move our decimal point in two places. So one, two. Final answer should be 18.56, which was C on your form. Next one is multiplication again. So 25.6. 
times five. Remember, no need to line up decimals. Line them up like there's a brick wall to the right. So in our first number, we have one number after our decimal. In our second, five is a whole number, so after the five would be our decimal, which means there's zero numbers after my decimal point. So in our final answer, we need to move our decimal one place. Now we're ready to multiply. Five times six is 30, put a zero, carry a three. Five times five is 25, plus three is 28, put an eight, carry a two. Five times two is 10, plus two is 12. We said we needed to move our decimal point in one place to get a final answer of 128.0, which is just 128, and letter D on your form. Final one for multiplication, 0 0.23 times 4.3. In your first number, you have two numbers after your decimal. In your second number, you have one number after your decimal, so 2 plus 1. Got to move our decimal three places in our final answer. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 0 is 0. There's nothing to tick. Tack our 3, toe our 0. 4 times 3 is 12, put a 2, carry a 1. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 1 is 9. And then 4 times 0 is 0. Add our products, put our placeholder. 9 plus 0 is 9. 6 plus 2 is 8. 0 plus 9 is 9. 0 plus 0 is 0. Move our decimal in, 0, or 3 places, 1, 2, 3 to get a final answer, 0 0.989, which was C on your form.